February 23rd, 2002. The era of honor began. From that era, we know the insane amount of talent that came through those doors. The insane amount of talent that shared the code of honor. The feuds, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the times of insanity that was shared in that promotion. From there, we go to December 11th, 2021. The, the final event in an era of Ring of Honor. Final battle had a different meaning on this day as we were left not knowing what would happen next. April 1st, 2022. Tomorrow, it is going to be the beginning of a new era, starting with one of the biggest events Ring of Honor puts together. Super Card of Honor 2022 is the beginning of an era like never seen before. What's up, everyone? This is the Indie Perspective Episode 16, Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? My name is Raymond Sanchez, and I represent the Respect the Craft podcast. And today we are talking all things Ring of Honor, as tomorrow they will present Supercard of Honor. This is going to be live from the Curtis Colwell Center in Texas. It is going to be an insane event. Before we break down the insane card, let me tell you a little bit about the information you're going to need if you're going to be attending this grand event. So, once again, it is going to be in the Curtis Colwell Center. We are going to, for ticket information, you're going to need to go to rohtix.com that is where you can get all your tickets and meet and greet opportunities for the event tomorrow if you're going to be watching the stream like myself you're going to need to go to either payperview.com the new home for all ring of honor pay-per-view events or you can also go to fight tv and get the event for either the price of 30 credits or 29.99 you can also if you're a member of ROH Honor Club. You can also see the event there. Now, for the time, remember, if you are Eastern Standard Time, add an hour to these times, as meet and greet will begin at 4 p.m., so that will be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For doors, they will be opening at 5 p.m., a.k.a. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pre-show beginning at 6 p.m., a.k.a. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the main show will begin at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is all the information you need for tomorrow's event tickets and streaming alike. So now, before we go into this amazing card, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what Ring of Honor means to me and why I am doing this uh, episode of the Indie Perspective. Even though, again, Ring of Honor is definitely more than just a independent wrestling company it is something that has evolved into something amazing i definitely want to talk about it so let's go into it what ring of honor means to me when you see these logos i even decided to try to find the closest to the original go because to me ring of honor is a company that has given especially to me just memories galore like i grew up watching ring of honor there's a podcast i do that i definitely will be talking about later on today that it, it's a company that also just like companies like jersey all pro just like icw it had an amount of talent from the tri-state area that it was insane to see them get a platform like this and get to face talent that you never thought they would be able to it was a place where you saw, again, the amazing feuds that you got to see. It was a style of professional wrestling like you've never seen before. Ring of Honor, to me, it made me fall in love with that style of... Uh, the strong style mix of getting to see strong style, getting to see pro wrestling, getting to see a different style of high-flying, getting to see all that under one roof. 
and getting to see it grow from just a company in the Philadelphia area in, t in 2002 to, to become the main company that it is. When you talk about Ring of Honor, you're talking about a company that, yes, it was considered an independent wrestling event at the beginning, but became a mecca for talent that wanted to go above just your indie level. Ring of Honor was something that we've all grown to love. It was something that even, again, the new owner, Tony Khan himself, said he grew up loving Ring of Honor, loving what it became and loving the talent that came from there. A lot of the talent you see today in companies like WWE, and companies like AEW, and companies that, and like Impact, and companies that you're going to see throughout this weekend, a lot of the talent either came from Ring of Honor, came through the doors of Ring of Honor, or wanted to be a part of that. You can see it from talent. Again, the original logo for Ring of Honor was created by WWE's own Joaquin Wilde, a.k.a. DJ Z, because he wanted to be a part of Ring of Honor. His first show, getting to see the likes of like Special K, just like I did, I grew loving Special K, the SAT, the Carnage, the Hit Squad, Brian Danielson, CM Punk, Samoa Joe, Nigel McGinnis, the list can go on and on and on. We're going to talk about a lot of these guys later on in the episode. But Ring of Honor became something that it was not only the alternative, but it was something different that you wanted to see. It wasn't just, oh, let me watch this instead of that. It was, let me watch this because it's this. They didn't, they, it, again, the, the, it's, it's phrase was something. They didn't imitate, they innovated, and they definitely did. Just like the talent there. It wasn't something that was like, oh, this guy's copy and this guy's move. No, they created something so different. The style was so innovative that, again, it became what Ring of Honor is. So, let's talk about, again, we can talk about the Hall of Fame. They're honoring competitors that, again, when you talk about Ring of Honor, you have to mention them. Let's talk about a tag team that's held Ring of Honor tag team gold more than any other team. Them boys themselves, Mark and Jay Briscoe. Your current reigning Ring of Honor tag team champions. We'll be talking about their match later on in the podcast. But let's just, again, give them their props. The Briscoes have been doing this for more than 20 years this team has been doing it for, again, for more than two decades and have been killing it, have been on the top of the food chain in tag team wrestling and are still there. They're your current reigning Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. From there, let's go on to, he is the American Dragon himself, Brian Danielson. When you talk about Brian Danielson, again, a former Ring of Honor Pure wrestling champion, a former Ring of Honor world champion. The feuds are endless. You can talk about his feud with Nigel McGuinness, which again was a bloody, strong style feud that I, it was one of my favorite feuds. It was one of my favorites to see. And this, and this insane amount of matches that came out of Brian Dalson in his Ring of Honor career. Again, one of the best to do it. I'm looking forward to see. Hopefully, with this new era of Ring of Honor, if we can see Brian Danielson make some matches happen. Now, Ring of Honor, again, you can't talk about Ring of Honor and not mention this man. He was the He's the best in the world for a reason. Ring of Honor and CM Punk. When you think about the Summer of Punk, the original Summer of Punk and what CM Punk did with that Ring of Honor heavyweight championship. When you talk about the feud he had with Samoa Joe, going into two draws, going into the final match that, again, it's an insane story. Watch that story between Punk and Samoa Joe, and you'll fall in love with wrestling again and again and again. He's definitely an earned Hall of Famer. All these competitors in here are earned Hall of Famers. And again, we can talk about, like I said, what he did for, for in that feud and what he did for professional wrestling. Let's go into another Hall of Famer that definitely what he has done has earned him his spot here. And he was also a part of that amazing feud for the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship. And someone that I'm hoping makes his way to Ring of Honor this Friday. Tomorrow, actually, at the time of this recording. 
He is the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. When you think about the hard-hitting matches he has had, the title reign he had holding that championship for so long, when you thought of that Ring of Honor World Championship, you thought about this man, the feuds he had. It is truly amazing to see Samoa Joe going into that Ring of Honor Hall of Fame. Congratulations to all. The one last award we're going to talk about. And again, when I saw the Hall of Fame class, I under, I knew this was going to happen because when you talk about Ring of Honor, there's no one else you can mention other, other than th this man here. Earning the Legacy Award in the Hall of Fame class, it is Kerry Silken. Congratulations to Kerry Silken. Well-deserved. Someone that, again, embodies what Ring of Honor is, has led Ring of Honor from the year 2004 being its its owner for years, being able to hold Ring of Honor and create this amazing brand, now a brand ambassador for Ring of Honor. I'm truly, um, I'm looking forward to hopefully still having the conversation. Unfortunately, we had to reschedule when I was going to have Kerry Silken on the podcast on Respect the Craft, but it's definitely something I'm looking to do in the future. Hopefully, Kerry Silken, again, can find a little bit of time for me um, in his amazing schedule. But again, we'll talk soon and definitely see if we can get that because I would love to see his thoughts on what Ring of Honor has now become and just, again, the future plans for Ring of Honor. See if he can give us a little bit of insight before we get into um, this new era. So let's begin. Again, Ring of Honor was always that place where you were seeing amazing, amazing new talent get to innovate, to show showcase. And let's talk about this first matchup here, as it will be Alex Zane versus Swerve himself, Shane Strickland. Newly signed to AEW, Shane Strickland, taking on Alex Zane. Alex Zane, no stranger to Ring of Honor. He was a part of Ring of Honor in its last era, got to showcase a lot here in Ring of Honor. I'm looking forward to see what Shane and Alex Zane are going to do here. These two great flyers, great in that ring. I'm looking to see who is going to get that victory here. Who is going to showcase and, again, move on to, again, the, the hierarchy in Ring of Honor here. I can imagine Ring of Honor is going to try to begin to create, again, that television title division, that pure wrestling division, especially the World Heavyweight division. So I can imagine these two are trying to make their, their claim to be that guy in Ring of Honor and these two again hungry talent talent amazing at what they do. I, I can't see what happens tomorrow night when they square off. Now again, not only do we have to talk about the hierarchy when it comes to the men, but let's talk about when it comes to the women of honor. As we are going to crown a interim ROH women's cha world champion as unfortunately Deanna Perrazzo cannot be there tomorrow night. So it will be to crown the interim as it will be Willow Nightingale taking on Mercedes Martinez. Now, let's talk about this matchup. Mercedes Martinez, a veteran of the game, another signee of AEW, getting to see her make her AEW debut has been insane, but getting to see her wrestle here for Ring of Honor is truly unbelievable. I can't wait to see Mercedes make her way into the arena tomorrow. I can't wait to see her make her Ring of Honor pay-per-view debut here in this new era. Willow Nightingale got to also be a part of Women of Honor. Got to be, to be a part of the, the almost the end of, of that era of Ring of Honor. I can't wait to see what Willow and Mercedes do tomorrow. I can't, I, this is a matchup. I'm glad I'm not doing predictions for this. I'm definitely not. Because these matches are so unpredictable that you don't know what's going to happen. And that's the best thing about this show. It is so insane that it, it's unpredictable. We're going to be talking about stuff that I hope happens. But there, match-wise, there's nothing I, I can predict. Because I, I know I'm going to get it wrong. And I, 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 I love that. That's what you want out of these shows. You want it to be so unpredictable that, again, you're just able to enjoy for what it is. So, let's go into some a debut for tomorrow. As making his Ring of Honor debut will be, want to make a bet himself, Ninja Mac. I can't wait to see Ninja Mac make his Ring of Honor debut tomorrow. Trying to shock the world, get make an impact at Supercard of Honor. Again, when you talk about Ring of Honor and how they they breed the new talent. They're able to create a, a loud showcase here. 
Ninja Mac is definitely someone that's been making some waves, and I can't wait to see what he does in that building tomorrow night. But now, let's talk about someone who's not going to make his debut tomorrow night, but return as the prestigious one. Looks to become a local hero of the Curtis Colwell Center in Texas. It is going to be the return of Joe Hendry. I'm not a singer. I'm so sorry. But maybe he will sing to us. He'll serenade to us in his return as he looks to make his impact here in this new era of Ring of Honor. I can't wait to see who Joe Hendry will be taking on because he's called out a few competitors. Could we see again a return of another former Ring of Honor competitor? Because he's called out the likes of current TNT champion Scorpio Sky. And you never know who could possibly make their way into the center tomorrow. Could it be again another former Ring of Honor competitor? Could, could we see a debut of a new competitor? The opportunities and possibilities are endless. And for Joe Hendry, this is a big opportunity to again make that impact and show why he is the prestigious one. Why he should be a part of this new era of Ring of Honor. And why Ring of Honor and AEW should be taking a look and a liking to Joe Hendry. Next up, let's talk about this matchup here. <clears throat> it is going to be... It's, it's For Lee Moriarty, this is definitely a proving ground matchup here. It is something to showcase <coughs> that Lee can go with the likes of Jay Lethal. Lee Moriarty has been amazing, has been an insane talent that, again, it showed so much that AEW had to sign him, had to pick him up and add him to their amazing roster. He's been taken under the wing here of Matt Seidel. I've been enjoying Matt Seidel trying to open the third of Lee Moriarty. But now he's going head-to-head -head with a former Ring of Honor world champion. He's going head-to-head -head with a former Ring of Honor television champion in Jay Lethal. This will not be the first time these two have squared off, but it will be the first time they square off in a Ring of Honor ring. So I'm looking forward to see, can Lee Moriarty defeat a former Ring of Honor world champion, or will Jay Lethal prove once again why he is one of the best to ever do it in Ring of Honor, why he was one of the only men to hold not one but two championships at the same time in Ring of Honor's history. Could we possibly see the return of Truth Martini for, for, for Jay Lethal tomorrow night? You never know. Again, Jay Lethal has held some amazing history in Ring of Honor. Again, former world champion, former television champion, former member of the House of Truth, former member of Special K, Jay Lethal has grown and proven to be one of the staples of Ring of Honor, and I can't wait to see what he does tomorrow night against Lee Moriarty. Lee Moriarty, again, looking to make that impact against one of the cornerstones of Ring of Honor. Let's go now into, again, that this is a prestigious championship when it comes to Ring of Honor. It is the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Championship. Seeing the Pure Wrestling Championship make its return Thanks to Jonathan Gresham, it was insane to see. I love seeing the Pure Wrestling Championship back in Ring of Honor. And the current holder is a man that I feel like embodies what J Jonathan Gresham and what Ring of Honor stood for. Foundation member, he is the foundation, Josh the Goods Woods. Josh Woods, I've gotten to see in person. I've gotten to see what he can do in a ring. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed to what Josh Woods can do. One of the best technical wrestlers out there. Technically sound. Amazing, amazing in that ring. And when he's able, able to lock the submission hold and it, it just apply that damage to you, it is a tap or snap moment. However, he is defending that championship against a man that's been showcasing more of a gruesome style. William Regal has been trying to get some aggression out of Wheeler Yuta. And I think for a matchup like this tomorrow night, this is what Wheeler Yuna needs. Maybe we could possibly see William Regal appear at Ring of Honor. Maybe he'll try to get something into the mindset of Wheeler Yuta. And could we see a new Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion tomorrow night? This is going to be a matchup to definitely look out for. This to me is 
possibly match of the night right here because these two are going to go at it and show what pure wrestling is all about. I can't wait to see how these two are going to go hold for hold, strike for strike, just maneuver after maneuver. And again, you're going to want to watch this matchup to, to its fullest degree because it's going, it's going insane. And to me, I can't wait. This is one matchup I'm definitely looking forward to. And whoever wins, I'm going to be insanely happy with because both men are proving to be the true definitions of what that pure division is. Next up, it is a matchup that people have been wanting to see for years. This has been a matchup that, especially when FTR were now free agents and allowed to be a part of the independence and be around just the amazing talent that are on the indies and around, again, even Ring of Honor. The possibility of this matchup happening was insane. So finally, at Supercard of Honor, tomorrow night, we see hashtag top guys versus hashtag dem boys as it will be the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships on the line as Mark and Jay the Briscoes defend against Dash and Cat, Dax and Cat. FTT. Let's talk about what this matchup means for tag team wrestling. You're putting two of the best tag teams currently in the world, the current Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions against the current Triple A Tag Team Champions. This is insane. A team that's held former, the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the Briscoes, the former... AEW World Tag Team Champions FTR. Between these two teams, they've held almost every major championship known to man. Currently, again, two of the best teams going today. I can't wait to see what is going to happen when these four finally square off tomorrow. At final battle, they finally got to touch. They finally got to have that first encounter. But when that ref rings that bell tomorrow and the titles are on the line... I don't know if the Curtis Colwell Center is going to be able to hold these four men. If the, if the roof is not going to, to just explode tomorrow night. It is going to be insane to see. And this right here alone is worth the price of that pay-per-view. So definitely, if anything else is not getting you, this should be the match you're definitely looking forward to and showing why tag team wrestling is truly an important part of Ring of Honor. When you go through the lines of the amazing teams like the Hit Squad, Special K, the SAT, Carnage Crew, OCK, the list goes on and on and on with Ring of Honor. And tomorrow, these two are going to continue these four, sorry, these four are going to continue to carry that lineage when those Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships are on the line. Next up, we're going to talk a little bit before we get into the main event about your commentary team. Because not only am I trying to make sure you get everything you need for this show, these two men right here are going to be the voices of the event, the voice of Ring of Honor themselves, Ian Riccoboni and Caprice Coleman be on the call for tomorrow night's show. I can't wait to hear their breakdowns of the matches, hear what they have to say during the matches. It is going to be great to hear Ian and Caprice on the call. Now, for those like myself that might also be interested in the Spanish commentary, you're going to be able to hear he has been the voice for Spanish commentary for Ring of Honor for a grand while, Rich Lobezdo himself. Also joining him in the booth will be Amy Rose. I can't wait to hear their Spanish commentary tomorrow. And as well, again, if you choose your English or your Spanish commentary, you're are going to be set because these are two of the best teams you could ask for for this grand event tomorrow night for Supercard of Honor. Also, you never know who else might join that team. We've seen other competitors join the booth and give their input. Maybe we get the return of Cole Cabana in the commentary booth. Maybe we get someone else. You never know. Could we possibly get Mr. Wrestling number two? Who knows? Maybe he makes a return. Maybe even Kelly. You never know who could possibly make their way to that booth tomorrow. But now we've talked about everything else. We've talked about the insane matches, the insane options. But let us talk about this. It is time to determine who is the 
undisputed Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. It is going to be the foundation himself. He is currently your Ring of Honor original heavyweight champion. He is also currently the progress wrestling heavyweight champion. He is WXW's 16 karat winner. Jonathan Gresham defending against the current reigning and defending Ring of Honor heavyweight champion. He is also the former, or is he current? PWG heavyweight champion, the most wanted bandito. These two again holding it all here. Two of the best in Ring of Honor currently. Two men holding the highest prestige in Ring of Honor. Jonathan Gresham again looking to bring that foundation, that true era of Ring of Honor back. Bringing the prestigious original design to the heavyweight championship at final battle. Holding that high, defending it this whole era this whole lineage before we get to tomorrow night has been defending it and holding it high and tomorrow he looks to prove he is the real world's champion bandito another man that held that championship throughout it's the almost the ending of the last era of ring of honor getting to showcase why he was one of the best tomorrow looks to prove he is the real world champion look at this right here you have a classic design here of a poster to showcase how important this matchup is. I can't wait to see who is going to step out of that ring. Your new Ring of Honor undisputed world champion. Will it be the foundation's Jonathan Gresham? Will it be hashtag most wanted bandito? You are going to want to watch this matchup. Be there live if you can. If you're in the Dallas, Texas area, if you're in Texas right now, Make sure you have your tickets. Go to ROHTix.com. Get your tickets. If you can't be there live, watch the stream. Pay-per-view.com. Go purchase Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor right now. Go to Fight TV. Again, if you have your credits, make sure purchase this event. If you're a member of Honor Club, check out the way to make sure you can watch Supercard of Honor 22 tomorrow night. This show, top to bottom, is going to be insane. The opportunities are endless. Could we possibly see, again, the returns of the likes of CM Punk to Ring of Honor, Brian Danielson, Samoa Joe. The debut possibilities are endless because you never know. Maybe someone from AEW could make transition. Also, the opportunity to have, again, a debuting talent that's not been seen in either or promotion. You never know who could make their way to that center tomorrow night. Stay tuned. Make sure you're watching. And again, go follow Ring of Honor for any updates. As again, at the time of this recording, it is currently 1.17 p.m. So you never know what could possibly be announced throughout tonight and even leading to tomorrow's event. So go check it out. I'll definitely be watching. But before we go, once again... Make sure you're also subscribing to the channel. Make sure you're supporting here because at Respect the Craft, we are doing just like this on the Indie Perspective, breaking down shows, giving you the previews and our thoughts going into these insane events that happen locally in the Tri-State area and around the world as well. Also, if you want to hear more conversations like this about, again, the classic style of professional wrestling, hear about promotions like Ring of Honor, Jersey All Pro, ICW, so USA Pro, so much more. Come check out our other pod podcast, the Glory Days Podcast, where me and an ROH icon himself, ROH legend, Steve Monster Mac from the Hit Squad, host Glory Days. Every few weeks, we're doing it on Thursdays as we talk about amazing talent and amazing stuff from that history. We tell stories with, with guests. This past week, we had Special K member Deranged. We had Corvus Fear. And coming soon, we'll be having some more amazing guests that possibly could even have that ROH alumni. And we might see some more stories, especially from those early days of Ring of Honor, Jersey All Pro, and so much more. Once again, guys, my name is Raymond Sanchez. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Go follow me on social media. All the links will be down below. Go support Ring of Honor. Go enjoy Wrestling Week because, again, so much independent wrestling, so much wrestling in general. Enjoy everything and all things professional wrestling, independent wrestling, and go support. And as always, be wise, be genuine, be real, be better people, and respect the craft. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.